Hi everyone, uh, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. Today I will let you share with you uh, something on integration involving trigonometry. Recently I actually received a question from a student regarding the uh, integration of trigonometry involving um, power. Let's take a look at uh, some of the main things that we need to know about trigonometry. Now these are some of the recap. There are basically three general formulas that we can follow. And as you can see, the main points that I actually like to bring to your attention are the ones that I've actually highlighted in yellow. So, looking at these three general formula, you notice one thing. We can only integrate secant square directly into tangent ax plus b over a plus c. Now, the questions that the student actually sent me was this. Integration of cos square 3x dx. So if we were to go back to the recap just now, there is no formula that actually allows us to do the integration. So the question that you should be asking yourself is that what formula can we use to substitute the term with the square power? If I cannot actually substitute the square, I cannot move on. So, if you do take a look at the formula sheet that you will be given in O-level exam, one set of formula will be the identity formula. So, if you do take a look at the formula, if I want to replace my cosine square, seems like this set of formula is not useful for us at all. After all, it is full of square power inside. And our objective is to get rid of squares to get the square power substituted. Let's take a look at the next set. How about double angle formula? Well, it could be useful. I'm particularly interested in this. Y, that's a square. And over here, this is what I'm looking out for. So by choosing the right set of formula, it allows us to actually answer the question. Let's take a look at how we actually approach the question. So. Starting off with the formula that we have chosen over here. Because the question involved cosine square 3x, so you notice that I have my 3x over here. On my left hand side, it will be 6x. This is what double angle formula is all about. After you are done with that, what you want to do is you, you rearrange the equation so that you get a cosine square 3x as the subject. Now, this is the result that we want to make use of. So with this manipulation, we can now answer the question. Let's take a look at the step by step. So I replace cosine square 3x with cosine 6x plus 1 over 2. Um, that is what I get from the double angle formula. Next, you move the half outside. Now, we are able to integrate what we see right here, isn't it? So cosine 6x, when you integrate, it will give us sine 6x over 6, because of the coefficient of the angle. Plus, if you integrate 1, it just gets us x. And just remember your c. I, ho I hope I have used this example to illustrate to you what you can do when you are asked to integrate trigonometry with power. Just one last bonus for you. Do you know how to integrate tangent square 2x? I would love to hear your comments and your answer to this bonus question. Just leave your answer in the comment form. And um, I hope you find this useful. Thank you.